Hello and welcome. My name is Adam Jaco. In this tutorial I will show you how you can serialize an object to XML. I made this tutorial because I had really diff hard uh, difficulties to find a tutorial who showed this very simple as you guys want. It should be simple to find information about functions in C sharp. So I already pre-made some stuff. I made a class called person. So if we go in person, we can see that we have three variables, f name, l name and age. And then we have a method called get all persons. Here we return a list of persons I al already pre-made. But you can imagine in real life applications you get the persons from a database or something like that. But here I pre-made two persons. Aram, Jacko, age 24. And another person called Adam, last name is Lou and age 30. So we get that, we get all these persons and in this variable here called persons. So what do we need to do now? We have to define a path where we need to store this XML file. So we're going to do string path equal to path dot combine environment dot current di directory. And then we're also going to add the file should be called maybe people.xml here we need to insert a library called system.io now we will have a path that is where this project is located and we also add people.xml to the end to create this file so now we have to create a variable called xml serializer serializer xs equal to new xml serializer let's bring that library in and the library is called using system xml serialization here we have to define what do we need want to serialize this xml to so it should be a type of list so it should be type of list and the list type is person so now it knows that when it when it tries to serialize this it's gonna try to serialize it to a person type let's see what is this warning here oh I spelled it wrong so now we have to say using because now we need to create this file uh, the XML file so we're going to say using file stream stream equal new file dot oops file dot create so now we say create a file and you should create a file in this path so you're going you're gonna to create this people XML file Let's see, why are you complaining now? Oh, no new. And when we create this p file in this path, we're gonna tell it to x serialize. You're gonna serialize in this stream, you're gonna serialize this object. So now in this xs, we have told it to serialize it to a type of list person. So now it understands that part, so it should serialize it in stream and and the object that should be serialized is person. So let's see this in action. Start it. So now we have a path that is D source repos XML XML bin debug netcore app to the point one people XML. This will be different depending on where you store your project. And the object of person has two elements. 
and that is the one we fetched from this method get all persons as we can see here so now in this uh, path it's gonna serialize this object so if you press F10 it will serialize to the screen this object and when it's done it will exit and it will close the stream the file stream and now it's done so let's check if we have that file so let's go to ooh, ooh, ooh. where is it uh, do, 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 do. open folder in file explorer XML bin debug netcore 3.1 and here we have the XML file we just created so if I press on it, we can see now that we have an array of person, we have a root called person, and we have name, last name, age, person, and another person. Uh, excuse me, is the person is not a root, so it's an element in the XML. All right. So in the next video or in the next tutorial, I will show you how you can read from a file and deserialize XML. Thank you for watching. See you at the next tutorial.